Boom! Live and direct. Live and direct. Back in the tube. Chenik, your host. Today we're going to talk. We're going to talk about uh, practicing. Practicing. Yeah. Because with enough practice, for sure, with practice, we can achieve a lot. No? Me, I'm conscious that uh, in the kind of endeavor that I'm taking here, uh, practice is a. Practice is a must. And I think uh, if you practice enough something uh, in any field of uh, expertise you want to go, if you practice, you're going to get it. Me, I'm conscious of that. I know it's an everyday thing. Rising and shining is an everyday thing. I cannot fail. I cannot, but not that I cannot fail, but for sure I cannot fail if I keep trying. But there's a, I have a few best practices here, a few best practices that I can, uh, we can go through. Getting up early is a gift you give to yourself. Few disciplines have the power to transform your life as does the habit of early rising. And that's so true. 5 a.m. club, 5 a.m. club is the best. You get the most done in the morning. You get the most done in the morning. For sure. You don't want to mourn in the morning, but you get a lot done. There is something very special about the first few hours of the morning. Time seems to slow down and a deep sense of peace fills the air. Joining the five o'clock club will allow you to start controlling your day rather than letting your day control you. Winning the battle of the bed and putting mind over mattress by rising early will provide you with at least one quiet hour for yourself during the most crucial part of your day, the beginning. If spent wisely, the rest of your day will unfold in a wonderful way. The beginning is very important in everything. In everything that we do, the beginning is very important. So imagine for starting our day, for sure, the beginning is important. That's why me, uh, anyway, I attach a lot of importance to the, the start of anything. It's got to be done with the great, uh, great advancement, great power, great confidence, all the good stuff. Anybody here? According to one study, the average four-year-old laughs 300 times a day while the average adult laughs about 15 times a day. With all the obligations, stresses, and activities that fills our days, we have forgotten how to laugh. You know what we should do? We should very much look up to children and model their their uh, their ability to be to stay energized in the moment. That's very, very important. That's why I like to, to be with Gavin. He's very present in the moment. Abby, Sam also. But I mean very, very uh, by Sam Sam a bit less. Sometimes he he he, he goes out, he, he kinda zone out because I can see he's a, he's a lot in his mind sometimes. He's a, he seems a, like system get to us uh, at what about 18 19 like he's working in babylon and all this stuff you know? so for sure at one point uh, the the stress kicks in the stress of the survival game because we're all on freaking survival here for sure your survival might be comfortable this is the thing some survival State for some people is very comfortable because they have the money, and uh, but they're still in survival because they don't have uh, enough to say, okay, I quit my freaking job and I travel the world. You know that that's the ultimate uh, thing for me, really, is to be able one day to. But it's not all I have in mind. Though. Like I mean. Uh, I don't get up each and every morning. Say today I'm gonna do the the the, the maximum to get to Japan. Like I, when it comes, it's gonna come. I'm not uh, I'm not worried about it. 
Natural surroundings serve to stifle the endless chatter that fills our mind. And it's very important also the friends you have around to keep good, uh, uplifting people around you. Because if you hang if you hang out with flakes, you're going to end up a flake. That's for sure. Me, I, I attach very much importance to... Uh, sometimes you cannot control it, the people you have around you, but... Uh, and their vibes and stuff, but you can uh, try to cope with it. Balance everything. Fill our minds so that our true brilliance can be liberated. Yeah, natural surroundings serve to stifle the endless chatter that fills our minds so that our true brilliance can be liberated. While you spend time enjoying nature, observe your surroundings with deep concentration. That's true. Study the complexity of a flower or the way the current moves in a sparkling stream. I did that yesterday. Take your shoes off and feel the grass under your feet. That I do it. Every time I go to my training spot, I get there, take off my shoes, boom, bare feet. and Give silent thanks that you have the privilege of enjoying the special gift of nature. I did that exactly yesterday. I was sitting down and I'm like... Uh, I, I give thanks so much for, for the life I live and uh, where I am having that uh, great uh, natural surroundings around me. Life's simplest pleasures are life's best one. Exactly. Me just to sit in nature, just to sit at my chilling spot, but not, not sit, sit and walk. Sit and walk around my chilling spot. It, uh, it's a great vibe. Le. It's a great vibe. You become your environment. Become more selective in the news you expose your mind to. The more, be more deliberate in the way you read your newspaper and in the way you watch your television. Yeah, but I suggest you pull off from that nonsense. Yeah? But you become your environment. So for sure, if you're on TV, newspaper, and all that, you're gonna have a very confused mind. Before you start reading the morning paper, have a purpose in mind. Personally, I don't read the paper, so it solves the problem right there. I don't read newspaper, I don't watch TV, I don't... Uh, nothing of Babylon uh, enters my mind in the morning to uh, take me out of the moment or cause some stress or anxiety or... So I stay away from Babylon evil. Use it as an information tool to serve you and to make you wiser rather than as an excuse to help you pass time. And resolve to expose yourself to influences that help you become the person you want to be exactly. Consume only what helps you on your journey, what's going to help you to, uh, to ascend. You know, you don't want to create a, a life of devolution that you want to evolve, for sure. It takes about 21 days to develop a new habit. That's very important. The habits in your life are very, very important to implement. Because habits habits will, uh, you know, motivation will get you going, for sure. But habits will keep the, the fire alive. Will keep the fire alive. It will start, motivation will start you. Like, you're going to become motivated to accomplish something, and you're just going to, you know, hey, rise every morning and go after it. But I think uh, once you find more dedication, more uh, implement new habit that support your journey, you're gonna you're just gonna go faster too. You're gonna acquire momentum and uh, strength because if you can stick to an habit that you have implement yourself, uh, you're gonna trust yourself for other habits that you want in your life. But I suggest you do it one at a time. One habit at a time, it's enough. Yet most people give up on creating a positive life change after only the first few days when they experience the stress and pain that is always associated with replacing old behaviors with new ones. Once you get past those first 21 days, you will find that staying on course with new habit will be far easier than you imagine. Far easier. You do it automatically at one point. Me, me it's for my uh, daily exercise that I implement uh, an habit to go on my uh, 
stationary bike every day and i'm very very disciplined for it very now it's an habit now i just like one o'clock about in the afternoon but not when it's super sunny outside when it's super sunny i do it either at night or in the morning like today i'm gonna do it uh, probably during the morning it's not very uh, it's a bit uh, yucky day again like uh, cloudy of course it's quebec so take the time to study your personal habits and promise and promise promise to make the necessary changes. There's all change you can make in all kinds of areas, different areas that we all have uh, habits that we have to get rid of and uh, implement new ones. Uh, takes time, takes time, takes maybe a bit of a uh, bit of guts also uh, to implement new habits, uh, but feels good. The quality of your life will be determined in large measure by the nature of your habits, for sure. Every great people, every people that uh, that have ha had success or significance in this world, uh, all have great habits. It's all about the habits. Spending one hour a day working on yourself will surely give you, will surely give you dramatic result in thirty days provided you do the right things it takes about one month to fully install the new habit after this period the behavior strategies and tools you are embracing will fit like a second skin the key is to keep on practicing them every day if you want to keep on seeing the results commitment is a powerful thing commit 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 not to babylon not to Babylon evil, but to commit to living your dreams. Very important. It should be, a, you know, your dreams should be a priority after your family and your children and making sure that they have something to eat. Uh, it should be your dream for sure. There's a, come on. As you prepare your body, so you prepare your mind. As you train your body, so you train your mind. Take some time every single day to nourish the temple of your body through vigorous exercise. Get your blood circulating and your body moving. There are 168 hours in a week. At least five of those hours should be invested in some form of physical activity. Health is something most of us take for granted until we lose it. Don't let that happen to you. Physical exercise is uh, very, very important. Personally, uh, personally, personally, I need uh, something I need to move every day. For sure, I, I have habits uh, implemented in my life. Uh, I wouldn't come and talk to you about the habits if I don't have them myself. <laughs> And every day I go on my bike, uh, I do my a series of exercises for uh, reinforcing my knee and everything for about an hour and a half, two hours every day. So it's 14 hours uh, a week. But I stick to it. I've been doing that uh, since I have my accident. Uh, it's been two, three years. Two, three years every day I do my, ex my uh, physical exercise and uh, I stick to it. Do a bit of yoga, do a bit of uh, everything. I got up this morning, I was doing a bit of yoga, taking my uh, my coffee and uh, checking what I was going to talk to you about. So, yeah, moving is very important. We must move more. We are a society that we don't move anymore. We're very, very passive. and We don't move. We prefer uh, everything easy, né? for sure. Develop a lust for learning. Read regularly. Reading for 30 minutes a day will do wonders for you. And that's something most people don't do. They don't read. People don't read anymore. That's bad, but... I, Red Rose Rocker! Red Rose is in the house. Greetings, greetings, everyone. Great things. Read regularly. Reading for 30 minutes a day will do wonders for you. Do not read just anything. Be very selective about what you put into the garden of your mind. 
It must be immensely nourishing. Make it something that will improve both you and the quality of your life. Something that will inspire and elevate you. For sure. It's a must. It's a must. For sure. Solitude. Solitude. I was talking about that yesterday. Oh, I gave you a garden update uh, video uh, yesterday, I think. Yeah. And uh, that was at the beginning of July. Now I rearrange all my uh, my garden and place my plant differently. And uh, it's a uh, it's a bit different because I had to tie them. They were they're getting gigantic, uh, out of control. So I had to tie them on the fence to prevent them from uh, falling with the tomato because it gets heavy with the tomato on it. So I'm going to make you another garden update. Uh, there's another one coming. This one is maybe a week after. and Maybe today I'll make another one. I'll see. But they're growing uh, very good. Very good. Very, uh, very happy with the results so far. Grow your food. That's another thing. Best practices. Grow your food. Be more self-reliant. You know, this is just what I want to do with this. this. Okay, I have only tomatoes, but eventually next year I'll do something else. This is my first year uh, really planting stuff. Né? So I'm testing my thumb, testing my green thumb capacity. And I'm a green thumb certified, so I'll keep on going. But next year will be a bit... Uh, we'll add some stuff, some uh, watermelon and stuff. Yeah, I want watermelon for sure. I want to grow big watermelon. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it would be good. Solitude and quiet connect you to your creative source and release the limitless intelligence of life. Me, I love pastime alone. Me, I really enjoy my uh, my company. I have no problem with that. I can go alone on the side of the river. All they make videos. I'll, I, at the end, I'll still have something to say after filling a card, emptying four batteries, and because because I found that uh, I don't know, there's something that. Uh, really, really, uh, not only deserve my attention, but. There's something we must exteriorize and we must do something with our life. And that's clear to me. So that gives my life a great sense of meaning coming and talk to you here like that. You know, it's not my life might not be the the best, but I'm very happy with what I have and uh, very satisfied. And uh, I do the best with what I can. And I'm very, very happy. So happiness is a state of mind. So with having more things or toys would make me more happy? I don't think so. I found happiness. But I found happiness. Happiness was always here. It's just something we, we don't get in touch with. But I'm uh, very happy today, very at peace. and I'm okay like that. I don't need to, to, to know more about the all the sacred stuff. I mean, I'm at peace. I don't seek for, I don't look for lies and deception anymore. I know the whole thing is staged. So uh, you tell me something and I'll tell you if I think it's uh, true or not. But if it comes from Babylon, it's probably uh, some kind of fake reason. Be very careful where you put your attention to. This simple exercise will allow you to put your problem into perspective and tackle them in an orderly, well-planned sequence. It will help you move to freedom and let go of the past. Let go of the past. We're so stuck up sometimes, so stuck up in the past, too much in the future, not enough in the present. I was like that myself. Never really a, a wicked thing was done, but keeping hope it will all turn around. The bad guys will pay for their crimes. Yeah, for sure. I I was always so active until the attack seven years ago, which I has been 
surf pain. Finally today, I have a meeting with four doctors of Babylon. Oh, you have a big meeting today with doctors. Yeah, I remind my meeting with the doctor for my expertise. I told you when it was uh, March 4th. It was March 4th. So I'm like, okay, it's time to March 4th. You know, there's always signs around, always. If you're in tune with the, uh, the frequency and the vibes, the divine vibes, divine frequency, uh, you're going you're gonna to catch uh, those vibes and see signs and... Good luck. But luck is a good fortune you determine for yourself. So, but still, good luck. Remember that it is the quality and not the quantity of sleep that is important. It is better to have six hours of uninterrupted deep sleep than even 10 hours of disturbed sleep. The whole idea is to provide your body with rest so that its natural processes can repair and restore your physical dimension to its natural state of health, a state that is diminished through the stresses and struggles of daily use. Laughter is a medicine for the soul. Laughter is a medicine for the soul. Even if you don't feel like it, look in the mirror and laugh very important you can't help but feel fantastic we don't laugh because we are happy we are happy because we laugh so start your day on a delicious fun footing laugh play and give thanks for all you have every day will be an exquisite an exquisitely rewarding one if you choose it to be it's all about choice it's all about choice, how we want to live our, our days, miserable or motivated. It's your choice. Can be both. Can be miserable or motivated. Me, I'm very motivated for life. I don't stress too, too much. I let uh, the love flow. The love flow. Babylon, Babylon will help. This time, maybe, maybe, triple R. Keep the faith. Keep the faith. Very important. Most people use sleep as a drug. They use sleep to distract them and pass the time. That's truly. Most people, when they can't cope with their life, they go to bed. They go to bed. They go to sleep just to pass the time. As people begin to live a life that is incongruent with their biggest lives and their highest possibilities, a well of pain begins to form within them. Most people are not conscious of this. It happens at the subconscious level, but that does not mean it's not there. Affecting them in every moment, in every choice, and at every plane. So many among us use sleep to avoid that pain to escape. But once you find your calling, you get excited. And the greater the excitement you will feel for this calling and for your life in general, the less you will need or want to sleep. <laughs> sleep is for people who are broke. Yeah. You know, uh, me, I'm up like I'm broke. Some people sleep like they're rich. Me, I'm up at 5 every morning, even though I go to bed at uh, 11 sometime, 12. But it's rare 12. It's more 11 and 10, 11. Depends. Designated sometime every single day. Designate sometime every single day for personal renewal. Time spent recharging your batteries is never a waste, but a necessary aspect of any peak performance routine. Recreation is about recreation. Aha. That's a good one. That's a very good one. Recreation is about recreation. So why do they... And I, Recreation. That's an, an, an interesting word I'm going to touch with uh, Arthur. 
Re-creation. There's something there. Let me reflect. Let me reflect. While you cannot go on a major vacation every week, you certainly can go on a minor one. A mini vacation begins with closing the door of your office, holding all calls and relaxing in your chair. Then close your eyes and begin taking deep breath. Once you feel deeply at peace, begin to imagine you are at your favorite vacation spot. Vividly see the colors. Hear the sound and feel the emotion that this special place evokes. After only a few minutes for this mental escape, you will be rejuvenated, ready for the rest of the day ahead. That's a very good practice. Music makes life better. Ah, I love that one. Music makes life better so much. Music can lift your mood, put the smile back on your face, and add immeasurably to the quality of your life. Get serious about listening to music that inspires you. Build a collection of your favorite pieces and play something that fills your heart with joy every single day of the week. Listening to even a few minutes of music every day is a simple yet exceptionally powerful way to manage your moods and remain at your best. I do that all the time. Every day, reggae music, every day, because I love the vibe. Yeah. I sing the pain away. Yeah. That's that's what I do, too. I Even when I exercise, when I bike, I sing at the same time, so it's even better for the cardio. Put my headphones on. So my headphone, I put my headphones on, and I go on my bike, and then I start to sing, and then... Uh, pedal at the same time, so it's very good for uh, the cardio also. Uh, that's it. Stress itself is not a bad thing. It can often help us perform at our best. Yeah. Expand beyond our limits and achieve things that would otherwise astonish us. All you need are a few hours alone, perhaps on a quiet morning when you can't spend time doing the things you love to do the most. We need time alone. We need more time alone. For sure, because time alone will uh, give you uh, oh, so much, so much. But that's what happened. We, we live in a very noisy world. Very noisy world. There's lots of noisy people around us. And uh, it's important to recognize our surrounding, make sure we're surrounded with uh, good uplifting vibes. And uh, if it's not nature, music, or but let go of bad minded people, people that people that have no goals, people that you know, you grow from people in projects. So stay with people in projects, my advice to you. Stay with people in projects and you're gonna grow exponentially. If you, you know, if you hang out with the uh, People that are doing uh, nothing, you will end up like that. You will end up doing nothing. But if you hang out with people that are doing a lot in life and are busy, well, not constantly busy, then you don't have to be constantly busy, but people that are have goals and projects and stuff, you're going to grow a lot more for sure. That's common sense. But common sense is not always common practice because people like comfort zones. So also they, they, they associate with people that are doesn't make them stretch too much, you know, so they remain in comfort. So, you know, hang out with people that make you stretch, that bring you out of your comfort zone, that will challenge your little comfort. And uh, then you just develop strength and you're going to end up Developing a great, great, great adventure with that. It's what we want more adventure for our life. Yeah, so big up everyone, big up everyone, and I'll be back uh, another now. Tomorrow morning on the Truman Show with Subadja. So don't miss the Truman Show. Yeah, I'll be back. Greetings, everyone, and uh, I love you all, and I'll see you uh, very soon. He's out. Have a, have a wonderful, beautiful, exciting, and productive day. And uh, that's it. Just rise and shine. He's out.